Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Hello, thank you for joining me. Going to be talking about a TV show called Deadwood. Deadwood is an American Western television show. It premiered on HBO in 2004 and ran to 2006. It had three seasons and then came back not too long ago for a movie or a, a made for TV type movie. Well, these days, anything that's done like a Netflix thing is considered a movie. They've done so well. Uh, that came out in 2019. I think it was called Dead with the Movie. This is one of my favorite shows. It's one of those shows that makes you so frustrated that there wasn't more. Again, this hits that spot. It's got about 12 episodes per season. It's great historical stuff, some new stuff. They added to it, but done so well. You've got real life characters back in the days of like 1876. It's the formation of a camp that turns into a town called Deadwood. And there are some people from history, characters that you know that come through the town. Some stay a little longer. You get the heartfelt characters, sidekicks, and profanity. This show is amazing in my opinion. There's just too many good people. I can name Timothy Oliphant as the main character. Um, Seth Bullock is a sheriff. You got Ian McShane as Al Swearingen. And he's an owner of a saloon. You keep going down the line. Molly Parker. There's just so many people that impact you on the show. You start to fall in love with the whole town. And you start to hate people in the town. It hits on all those levels of what you would think a town back in those days would actually uh, be like. As a matter of fact, one of the little things that I've done recently with some of these is made a note that its use of profanity <laughs> drew attention to the show. And I think the stats are, let me see if I, I can find it real quick. Um, the word fuck is said 43 times in the first hour of the show. <laughs> it has been reported that the series had a total count of 2,980 fucks and an average of 1.56 utterance of fuck per minute of footage. That's my show. It's right, they're right there. It's just blows my mind. The show is not running 10, 15 seasons. Uh, Academy Award, or, or what are the TV awards? Whatever the fucking TV awards are, you can't get enough of this show. The people who come into the show later on, they they capture your attention. They knock it out of the park with casting on every level. There's just too many good characters in the show, and you get really attached to them, and you know from the way. The um, history unfolds that you know what's going to happen to some of these characters. It just really grabs at your heart, at your emotions all over the place. You hate this person and you're supposed to hate them. Oh, it's just. And there's some moments that, you know, really hit you. The subject matters and gets insane. There's so many characters in this show, you just can't get enough there's even like little stories with like you got these saloons and they have little runners and people that get involved in the schemes and on every level the show works and you got a true western set back in the day I love westerns I've always been a big fan of westerns I always had a love for the old Clint Eastwood I even watched all the John Waynes all that stuff I don't even know who David Milch is, the creator. Like, I haven't heard him from other things. So, I think it's NYPD Blue he might have did. But this show is just a shame that it hasn't been on since 2004 consistently. Every 
utterance on the show seems to be profound in a sense. You've got characters like Wild Bill Hickok and all the uh, Calamity Jane, who's just probably steals the show. She's so good. And you're going through this development of a character, and you should have... It's just a shame that the show doesn't have a long-running standing. Even when it came back in 2019, it's just... I wanted more. And it was done really well, which is hard to do these days. You come back, I think it's set 10 years after. You got the storyline that runs through from season one to three. And, it, you know, you can describe it as, you know, it starts as a camp town and goes into a uh, a big town. And you got the railroad, gold, you know, mining for gold. And there's just overtones of the time uh, done perfect. Now, yeah, it's going to be a uh, craziness shit show, probably not politically correct in any way. Um, but I, the performances are, in my opinion, groundbreaking. Ian McShane, Swearingen, the character surrounding it, just blow me away. I have so much fun revisiting the show. And if you're a fan of Westerns, I mean, so I'm born in 71. Yes, I'm in the um, Clint Eastwood age, and I remember watching all the black and white ones. I would always have uh, cap guns and the belt. There's something about seeing the old type guns and the gunpowder and the gambling um, icons from the past. The way this society and the culture was hard on people. Uh, the daily things people have to go through to make it through the day in some of these, I don't know what you call them, gold rush towns. There's also uh, connections to Tombstone in a way. as Like I said, you'll have characters that come in historically and... It just adds more flavor to the show. Because you know you've got some real history involved. And it, that kind of adds such a um, element to it that, you know, you don't see a lot. I think, I don't know what the t same time, I don't know what time it came up, but like Spartacus. I think shows like that, that really open your eyes to the time, the setting, the photography, the way it looks, the posture of the characters, when everything comes together well, it's a, it's a rare thing. And I think Deadwood is one of those shows. But then again, you look at it and go, how can it only have three seasons? How can it be so short? Now, it has lots of awards. You can look through the wiki page. You'll see all the... I mean... It just blows my mind. I mean, maybe it's one of those circumstances where not only is Westerns not really popular in that, in a sense, that you also have actors who are growing and moving on to other things. I think if this came out now, it would be super popular and successful. And I don't know if it's right for the careers. And when they came back, they sort of gave you a hint of where this town was going historically and from the show's plot lines. So I don't see it coming back. It's, again, one of those frustrating things that if it would have stayed from 2004, progressed season to season, it would be hands down one of the greatest shows ever. So it kind of falls into that weird spot for me. Because in some way, I would say, okay, if you're going to have a show and call it great, does it have to have criteria? So let's make up. It has to have four seasons. And then, okay, well, Deadwood wouldn't fit in it. But it had a movie that came out. Could that be considered a fourth season? Maybe debate that. I'll probably do a podcast on The Good Guys, which is like a one-season show, comedy. 
which is great another frustrating time where you just want more and it just goes away so i'm always surprised when you go back on the show and i watch it a lot how good it is how surprising it is that it's not something that lasted for so many seasons i just think it it's time it's setting just probably wasn't hmm you know in the in the conscious of people in the sense of they were looking for it but then westworld came out and i could see for me the love of the western world and i'm kind of i think i did my uh season three or season two for westworld i'm not sure which one will be out first season three or this but I miss the Western part of it. There's a part of me that wants to watch Westerns all the time. I go through my cycle of one of my favorite, uh, there's so many debatable ones, but Outlaw Josie Wales, Unforgiven, The Good, The Bad, The Ugly, it's just endless. And I watch them all the time. I even created a an adaption to the Dungeons and Dragons second edition rules and made up uh, a world called Gunslinger and just adapted the rules. So I'm a big fan. You can't go wrong with Deadwood. Curses galore, insanity, a real look at the times, award winning performances. The show should be lavished on and given praise. And it's a shame that it didn't run for so long. But I think everybody would love get a real big kick out of it. You're going to see. Just some great performances and new characters come in and you're surprised at how well you enjoy seeing them or how much you enjoy hating them and how conflicted you are at certain characters. There's, oh, they're, they're mean killers, but oh, this is the time. This is what's going on. This is what's really going on. It's mind blowing. I love the show Deadwood. Can't get enough of it. I would watch it immediately. It's one of those must watches take care everybody until next time bye bye